Hey folks, welcome back. So it's Crazy Welder again, and as you can see in this video, I'm going to be talking about my Note 7. I know I haven't brought it up for quite some time, but I figured now it's time since I actually recently picked up a new battery for the device, and I figured, you know, it's only fair that I show you guys what I've got. And so, as you can see here, I've added a custom battery. This wasn't there before. I'm still working out the kinks on mounting the camera properly and so on and so forth. And the battery used here is the one for the Samsung Galaxy C7. I'm going to drop the links in the description for you guys so you can see what that's all about. Um, I haven't really changed anything else. I've just removed the stock battery and the back cover. Um, currently, I have a custom back cover that is being painted. So I'm just waiting on that to dry before I can finally put it on. But to show you guys that I'm not BSing you all in one take, all I have to do is power the phone on as you would normally as you can see the screen comes up it's currently loading and I'm just waiting on this guy to power up here it's gonna show a little AT&T and Samsung logo it's taken me kind of a while to get here but it's it's now working and it is also um, past the doomsday update right now and again no issues there um, the phone is completely working I've had um, the ability to test it with a couple of things as you can see, the SIM card is not inserted as I took my AT&T SIM out um, quite some time ago, again, to kind of help avoid some of those issues as well. I'm going to swipe the screen so, again, you can see that this isn't some kind of BS. It still gives me the safety recall thing, but that's basically about it. Now, I have tried using this BK Disabler app. Hopefully, you guys can see that on the screen. You might not be able to. And uh, that one didn't actually work for me. What did work for me is this other app called Package Disabler Premium and um, I'll give you guys a link to that one in the description for the video as well so that you can block yours and uh, there's actually a list of these different apps that you can block um, I wish I had a different way of recording the screen to show you guys but I figured since I'm doing this all in one take um, I might as well do it like this so you can see that uh, you know this isn't some kind of fake or anything like that and uh, I'm gonna go into settings here real quick just you know just to verify with everyone to show you that this is indeed um, the device that we're looking at here. So you can see the device name right here. Um, so again, this isn't something I modified in any way. You can see my Android version. You can see the patch, which you know is from 2016 because obviously the phone has not been updated since then. Um, things like that. And uh, so this is you know this is my phone, and ultimately it's working just fine so far. Um, the battery is doing just fine. Um, the battery capacity here is actually lying. It is not 3500 mAh. The battery capacity for this thing is, I believe, 3300. So it's slightly less, but honestly, you're not going to notice a huge difference. Um, it works just fine. I have not had any issues with it currently. Um, as you can see, I am online, so I am pulling up weather information. If I go to the internet, for example, I don't really like using this browser too much. But um, again, Google is working, and I can search for you know things like you know, so it's just random thing here that I can search and uh, it pops up. Again, works beautifully. Um, one of my favorite features for this phone actually is the ability to limit the blue light. So if you're somebody that's into VR stuff, which I've been doing currently, you know, that's a nice little feature to have there. Um, and I'll go into detail about this phone once I've used it for a little bit more. Ultimately, I'm going to try and see if uh, I can actually get myself online with this thing using 4G. We'll see if that pans out, but I'll give that to you guys in my next video once I've fully reviewed the phone. And so that's that so far. It's running just fine. And if you guys want to see, you know, any features of this phone or how to block any updates from Samsung, feel free to visit Samsung or Note7Rebels.com. I believe you can just Google that name and it will come up. And again, once I have the case back on the phone, I'll do a more in-depth walkthrough and I'll let you guys know how I got my phone up and running. So thank you and take care until next time.